Hello everyone! Welcome to another week of Top 10 Tuesdays today. So Michelle and I decided to go over our Top 10 Spring Lips because narrowing it down to five is next to impossible for the two of us because we are both lipstick whores and we have a ton of lipstick. So five was just not going to happen. We had to do at least at the very least, at least 10. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is the Glam Dr. Mona. I do a lot of luxury makeup, skincare type of reviews, hauls, things like that. I am a physician, I am an OBGYN, and I'm boarded in family medicine. If you're interested in seeing my top 10 spring lips, then let's get on into it. Okay, so the way I decided that I kind of wanted to do this was let me divide it by brands because I have one, two, three, four different brands and I'm kind of one of those people who is loyal to certain brands and tends to purchase from a lot of the same brands all the time just because I know their quality is going to be really good. So let me start off with what I am wearing right now. I was going to do lip swatches for all of the 10 shades, but I was like, forget it, that's not going to happen. So let me start with what I got on right now. So this is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Hot Lips, I think, collection two. This is called In Love with Olivia, and that's what I'm wearing right now. It's this really pretty, pinky, nudey color. Let me show you a swatch. There's a swatch of it right there. I really like this particular formula, and I absolutely love this color for springtime. I just think it makes you look youthful, it just makes you look glowy, and it's just the perfect springy nude. Okay, next up is a lippy that I have been wearing a lot. I'm saying a lot, a lot, a lot. This is the Collagen Lip Bath by Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. So she has a bunch of different shades in the Collagen Lip Bath. She has a clear one, she's got like a peachy one, a pink one. This is the Pillow Talk one and I like also layering it on top of whatever it is. And it just gives it extra moisture, extra hydration and it looks really pretty on its own too. So the whole thing about Pillow Talk is supposed to look a lot like your own natural lip color. So that's it right there. And then the next pick by Charlotte Tilbury for spring, I'm kind of cheating because these are two. So these are the two Pillow Talk, the new Pillow Talk lipsticks. The one in medium and the one in intense. I'm showing both of them because depending on what your skin tone is and what you're into, you can go with either one. And I also wanted to show you guys that they come with matching lip liners. So let me show you medium first with the lip liner. Okay, so this is Pillow Talk Medium, the lipstick and the lip liner, and then this is Intense. So you can see Medium is darker than the original Pillow Talk and much more mauve whereas I feel like the Intense one has a little bit of like more of like a raspberry kind of tone to it with some brown, and then the liner is definitely much more of a darker brown. So these are my picks from Charlotte Tilbury. So you got In Love with Olivia, you got the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath, the Medium Pillow Talk, and the Intense Pillow Talk. All right, next up, next pick. So that was my first one, two, three. Number four, it's, this is not in any particular order. They're just, I'm just randomly picking them, but I'm grouping them by brand. So my favorite shade by the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude is Claudia. Oh my God, look how pretty this is, you guys. I love this particular one and it's perfect for the springtime because it goes well with a variety of skin tones and it's like that my lips but better color absolutely gorgeous love this particular formula it just glides on it starts off a little bit creamy but then it kind of dries down to more of a matte finish but it stays comfortable all throughout the day and this color is just it's just gorgeous all right up next is another very beautiful springy combination. This is by Patrick Ta. This is his monochrome, monochrome Moment Silky Lip Cream in the shade She's Secure. And then there's a matching lip liner to it and it's She's Proud. So these are like more peachy toned. So let me show you, which is perfect for springtime. Because you don't want anything too dark or too raspberry or too wine, you wanna stick with something that's gonna look nice and light on the lips. So this is the lip cream here, and then that is the 
lip liner. So you can see it has like a really pretty peachy tone to it and this has that really nice dark mauve so it kind of gives you that really nice 90s lip moment. The formula is really nice. It feels comfortable on the lips. The lip liner just looks so good and you want to kind of cheat it a little bit to make your lips look a little bit bigger. And then the lip cream does a great job of just filling in the lips and doesn't settle in your lip lines. Really like this particular combination. Absolutely perfect for springtime. Okay, so the next five are all from Chanel. Sorry. That's just, I'm, I just love Chanel. I'm a huge Chanel fan. I've always been a Chanel girl. Just, that's what I love. So, first up is a color that when you see it in the tube, you're like, oh, okay, it's like a red. But then when you actually apply it to the lips, it's just this really beautiful, dark, pinky red. So you see that right there. It's like one of their like tattoo lip colors. It's just so beautiful. Like it, you can make it very pigmented or you can kind of keep it a little bit sheer and then tap it onto the lips. So if you want more of that like darker pinky red, just kind of as like a stain, you can do that or you can make it very intense. So it's much more of that dark pinky red. It's such a pretty color. This is called 822 Deep Pink. This is the Rouge Allure ink infusion in 822 deep pink gorgeous color so beautiful for the springtime and then another color that not just is good for spring but all year round but absolutely gorgeous for spring because a lot of times you just want to like look very fresh very effortless and this is the rouge coco flash in number 53 chicness so it's a very sheer nudie color. It's like a brown nudie color. You can see that right there. Very, very pretty. It's a very balmy type of texture. Like it just literally feels like you're wearing a lip balm, but it has this very hint of that like nude, um, brownie nude type of color and it makes the lips look so plump and juicy. Just oh, it's such a beautiful color. And then also the um, Rouge Coco Flash in number 66 Pulse. Oh my God, wait till you see this. If you like orangey reds, you're gonna love this one. Look at that. It's like a gorgeous, bright, orangey red. It looks so vibrant on the lips, but you could also, this is another one of those kind of colors where you can build it up. If you wanna keep it sheer, you can keep it sheer, or you can keep applying <laughs> the lipstick and make it darker putting more layers of it on and it'll make it much more darker too. It's such a beautiful formula, I absolutely love it. And this is like the perfect lipstick to wear during the springtime with a nice cat eye, lots of lashes or lots of mascara, gorgeous. Okay, up next is a lip gloss that I got because every time I see Michelle wearing it, I'm like, what is she wearing? And there's so many times that that happened that I was like, I have to get this particular lip gloss and I love it. I feel like I'm kind of like running through it because I wear it all the time. This is the Rouge Coco Gloss in 804. It looks like this. It looks like a little scary when you see it, but it actually has a very beautiful light kind of iridescent pink to it. It is just gorgeous. Like every time I wear this, people are always like, what do you have on your lips? And then when I show them what it is, they're like, that's it? I'm like, yeah, that's it. But that's how amazing and gorgeous it is. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you have to get 804. 804, 804, 804. 804. If there's anything in this particular top 10 that I'm going to tell you to get, it's going to be the Rouge Coco, Rouge Coco Gloss in 804. <laughs> All right. And then I couldn't finish this top 10 spring lips without showing you guys the lip palette from the Chanel um, Le Fleur collection that just came out recently. So they came out with a lip palette that looks like Camellia's. Isn't that incredibly beautiful? Let me show you guys swatches. So there's like a raspberry, there's like a pink, there's a red, and then there's also a, what kind of color is that? That's kind of like a 
rose type of color. So that, that's what the, they're, that's what those four shades look like. They're very balmy and very sheer, but you can also build them up or you can wear a lip liner underneath and apply these on top and they would just give you this really beautiful balmy lip color on top. And these colors are just perfect, perfect, perfect for springtime. And this palette is just incredibly beautiful and gorgeous. It's limited edition, I'm pretty sure. So if you're able to grab this and you've been thinking about getting it, get it. It does come with a lip brush, so you don't have to use your fingers to apply it. You can use the brush to apply it. It is just such a beautiful palette. I'm so glad that I got it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And for those of you who are already subscribed to my channel, after you're done watching this video, head on over to Michelle's channel, check out her video. I'm interested to see what her top 10 is going to be. I wonder if we're going to have any overlap. I don't know. I have a feeling this is going to be in there and maybe the palette, but I think everything else is probably going to be different because she and I, she has tons of lipsticks and I know she's going to probably give you a broader range of brands, whereas me, I kind of like to stick to certain things and stick to what I like. That's just how I am. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and hit that bell notification button. I don't upload on a regular basis, so hitting that bell is important so that when I do upload a video, you are able to watch and I will see you all very soon. Thanks, bye.